experiment based on refraction. Index of refraction of a material is a measure of how fast light travels in a material. If the light goes through one material to another and the two materials have different indices of refraction, then the light is bent. Here we have one big glass beaker and one small beaker and some vegetable oil. Put the small beaker inside the big beaker. You can still see the small one inside the big one. Now pour the oil inside the small beaker. Keep pouring so that the oil can overflow into the big beaker. As soon as the big beaker is filled with oil, you cannot see the small beaker through it. Now the small beaker is vanished. The borosilicate small beaker has almost the same index of refraction as the vegetable oil. So light that is travelling through the beaker into your eye is not bending at the surface of the glass. Therefore you cannot see the small beaker. Hey all, this is Moita of class 8. Today I am going to show you a small magic trick. There is a white sheet in front of you. Are you able to see anything? No, it's just a plain white paper. I am going to take a cotton swab and wipe on it. Now you can see that the letters I M H S S appears in dark pink on the paper. Isn't it exciting? Now I am going to tell how this magic works. Take a white sheet of paper, use phenolphthalein indicator and write anything as you wish. Once you have written, leave the paper so that it completely dries. Now, take some cotton and dip it in sodium hydroxide and slowly wipe it on the paper. You will see that the letters you wrote are slowly visible in the dark pink color. This is because phenolphthalein is a colorless indicator that turns into dark pink when it reacts with the base. Here, in this experiment, the base medium that we used, sodium hydroxide, is a strong base. Thank you. Hi, I am Mitra from 8B. I am going to show you how dehydration reaction works by using sugar and sulfuric acid. Start by filling the glass beaker with sugar. This is sulfuric acid. Add concentrated sulfuric acid into it. After adding sulfuric acid, stir it carefully. After mixing, the color changes from white to brownish and eventually to black. As the acid dehydrates the sucrose, the water produced will dilute the sulfuric acid giving out energy in the form of heat. The sulfuric acid removes water from the sugar is a highly exothermic reaction releasing heat. Thank you. Hi all. This is Agustin from Standard 9th. I would like to explain you all about the laminar flow with an interesting experiment. So, what is laminar flow? In fluid dynamics, there are two main types of ways that the water flow. The normal way is called turbulent flow which just means that there is a lot of disruption in the flow and the water has lot of movement. In laminar flow, the fluid does not have a disruption or has a minimal disruption so that the water particles can flow evenly and gently. You can do this experiment easily at home using basic supplies. You will need a balloon tape and a pen. Fill the balloon with the water and tie it off. Make a square on your balloon out of tape. Pierce the balloon inside the square with your sharp object and watch as the water flows out laminarly. Here's how the balloon lamina flow experiment works. Balloons have soft edges. When you pick a balloon, the opening is typically even. This means that when you stabilize the opening with tape, the water can flow out gently without disruption. This makes the water particles flow evenly and gently one another creating the illusion of frozen water. Hi all, I am Josh Shaliji from 
8th standard B section. Today I would like to explain you all about the homemade barometer. Barometer is an instrument for determining the pressure of the atmosphere and ends for assisting in forecasting weather. Materials required a glass jar, scissor, rubber bands, balloon, glue, tape and straw. Let's start. Cut the neck of the balloon. Stretch the balloon over the top of a jar. Use the rubber bands to keep the balloon firmly in place over the mouth of the jar. Glue the straw on top of the jar. Now a homemade barometer is ready. The weather causes changes in air pressure and thus changes in the arrow direction allowing you to see the weather prediction. When the pressure increases, the balloon bends down and the arrow rises. When the pressure decreases, the balloon bends up and the arrow drops down. Thank you. Hi all, this is Prasanna from class 90A. I am going to do an interesting experiment, non-Newtonian fluid. How can you run on a liquid and not drown? Come, let's get into the experiment. To do this experiment, take two parts of corn starch and add one part of water into it until a viscous liquid mass forms. Now, Newtonian fluid is a substance which can be both solid and liquid. Depending on the speed of impact on it, if we push, net, throw or hit quickly, it behaves like a solid body, but if we stop, then it turns to a puddle in our hands. Starch particles swell in water and form contacts in form of chaotically interlaced molecules. Under harsh impact, durable bonds do not let the molecules move, and the system reacts to external impact like a tight spring. Under slow impact, the bonds spread out and untangle. So, let's keep moving. Hi all, this is Rizwan of class 9. I would like to explain about the simple water filter experiment that can be done at home. To do this, you will need an activated charcoal, and some cotton, add a bottle cut the bottom of the bottle make a hole in the lid and place cotton in it and place the bottle like this place in layers of cotton charcoal cotton and charcoal After making the layer, run water from the nearest pond through it. And now you can see that the filter works. Cotton holds solid particles and the charcoal absorbs the main pollutants. To make the water drinkable, boil it. 